Hey guys, some Republican insiders have asked us to give them advice about designing a Republican convention as slick as the Democrats. Why us? The Montana Logging and Ballet Company isn't even a group anymore. They said they wanted someone from showbiz who is completely unknown. Since Trump's never heard of us, we can't make national headlines by demanding he stop using our music at his rallies. Oh, this will be easy. The Democrats had such a spectacular convention. All we need to do is copy everything they did, replacing their big stars with big Republican stars, and voila, problem solved. Great idea, but where do we start? We do exactly what the Democrats did. We start off with a montage of all the different kinds of folks who make up America, people the Republicans represent. Yeah, like old white men. No, we need more diversity, like middle-aged white men. Well, how about some women? Well, only if they're cute. Yeah, that's good. Uh, maybe even some young people. I'm sure they can find some young Republicans somewhere. I heard some were spotted in Alabama, but they all have COVID-19. So invite them anyway. Yeah, we can literally use anybody who's angry. Doesn't matter what about, as long as they're mad about something. Yeah, that's diversity. Now, the Democrats had that stellar speech by Michelle Obama. Who can we get in the Republican world who is articulate and a voice of moral authority? Okay, moral authority like uh, the pillow guy. Yeah, he speaks with authority. But not with facts. So, when does that stop him? That's true. How about a pastor? Can't beat that for moral authority. How about the president's cheerleader, Jerry Falwell Jr.? Only if he can keep his zipper up. Hey, what about uh, Attorney General William Barr? Yeah, he's got the magic get out of jail free card. Wow, we might need that if we get involved with this crowd. Or how about National Security Advisor Michael Flynn? He's strong. On his way to prison. Oh, uh, Michael Cohn. In home confinement. Campaign manager Paul Manafort? Prison. Vanderslaan. Prison. Papadopoulos? Prison. Steve Bannon. He's not in prison. Uh, yeah. Not yet. Okay, Roger Stone. He's not in prison. He got sprung. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> this is going nowhere. Surely we can find a prominent Republican who's not a criminal. How about Mitch McConnell? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe we better stick with the criminals. Man, this is hard. Let's start with something easier. Let's recommend a well-known black Republican. Like General Colin Powell. No, he already endorsed Biden for the Dems. But a black person with his stature. Okay, how about Kanye West? No, even his wife says he's crazy. Well, is that a plus or a minus? Look, forget it. The Democrats had former presidents endorsing Biden. We could do that. But George Bush isn't endorsing Trump. How about George Bush Sr.? Well, neither is he. He's dead. Well, what does that matter? If we just keep saying he isn't, he won't be. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, write him in. Okay, we got one dead former president endorsing Trump. What else do we need? Well, obviously, we're, we're going to need a lot of conspiracy theories. And wacko medical advice. Cute blondes. And guns, lots of guns. And Trump's children, lots of his children, just... Just none of those other relatives. Oh, you mean his sister that said he has no principles? Or his niece that took a whole book to list his depravities? And then, of course, we need Trump himself giving a great rousing speech every night. Without rambling. Ooh, that'll be hard. He keeps getting off track listening to Putin in his earbud. <laughs> if he could just say one coherent, complete, thoughtful sentence, that would amaze everybody. Yeah, then he can tell us five words that he's memorized. Four of them are... Myself. <laughs> <laughs> we could tell them to end with a glorious shot of Trump descending a ramp. It can all be on pre-recorded video, so there's no chance for a screw-up. Yes, and then he can heroically drink from a glass of water, one-handed. Great. That'll be a big bang ending. But we still need a powerful closing speaker. Someone fresh and inspiring and maybe even non-white. I've got it. Jesus. We could have Jesus come to the Republican. Waving a Bible. <laughs> and a gun. And a flag. <laughs> um, on the other hand, won't they think that's a little over the top? No, I don't think so. No, they won't. But Jesus was a poor, nonviolent person of color who preached humility, generosity, free health care, love of enemies, universal brother and sisterhood. True. But truth doesn't matter anymore in their world. Once you get that in your head, this all becomes quite easy. Yep, I think we nailed it. Then all we need is just to add some filler, maybe a couple of unmasked gun wavers in a crowded room, uh, some neo-Nazis, bring in Clint Eastwood threatening an empty chair. Boys, 
I think we got us a GOP convention. Let's give them a call. Bingo. All right. <laughs> hey, Don. 